Hello friends, delayed happy new year to all of you. Today I am going to discuss on how to support multiple screen in Android application development. To download source code for more tutorials visit our blog uanblog.com and for latest tutorials and news download multi android zone youtube app from uanblog.com and stay tuned. One of the most con important consequences is that the developer has to face with the different screen resolution and densities in the today ma android market. Android system provides a consistent development environment across device and ha handles most of the work to adjust applications user interface to the screen on which it is displayed. System also provides APIs that allow you to control your applications user interface for specific screen size and densities. Now before digging into the details how to support multiple screen size first we have to clarify some terms. First one is resolution. Resolution is the number of pixels on the device screen. For example, 480 by 800. Now density. It is the number of pixels is a specific area usually we consider dot per inch or DPI. And orientations. It is how the screen is oriented. It is landscape or portrait. Now. Now how Android handles multiple screen size? Let's check out. For 2 to 4 inch screens uh, is Android screen name is small screen is denoted by LDPI around 4 inch to 4 inch it's denoted by normal screen size or MDPI and 4 inch to 7 inch is denoted by large screen or HDPI and 7 inch to 10 inch is called X large or extra large screen and denoted by XHDPI and except, for, except this you have uh, today uh, in Android market there is more Android screen has uh, launched like uh, Android TV screen, uh, Android wear screens etc. Now let's see how to handle the multiple screen size in Android application development. So here is an Android application having multiple layout. Say splash.xml, it is the portrait layout. You see this orientations vertical and uh, and <coughs> and its screen is splash one. It's here splash one dot jpg. It is the portrait layout and splash two dot jpg. It is for the landscape layout. I have used. And you see the dimension is 1600 cross 900. And you see for portrait for landscape layout, you see I have used plus 2 image and its orientation also vertical. Now for the tab screen I have used landscape and portrait and for uh, Android TV or Google TV I have used extra large screen now check out all this screen for Nexus 6 it's look like it's pretty good And for Nexus 9, we can check it. Uh, it's stretched a little bit. A portrait mode. Check out the other screen, Nexus 7. It's look good. And for Nexus Galaxy Nexus, it's also look like check out the other screen.
it's also good it's pretty good and for android tv 1080 pixels it's look like this and you see that it's for landscape and for 720p it's also pretty good now you can see all the screen in landscape mode it's look good except the Nexus 9 it stretched little bit I have seen Now check out one by one, remove it and it's good, Nexus 5, and this is all the screen preview for now check out the other screen in landscape mode Here is all the screen you see it's look good except the Nexus 9 it's little bit stretch and it is Android TV And once this issue is not solved, this Android Wear for the circle screen and the square screen. So it can be solved using the 9 patch image. So in my upcoming tutorial, you will see how to fix this issue with 9 patch images. So download multi android zone youtube app from description below for upcoming latest tutorials and news have a good day